two nations are in thy womb. So at this at this time right here, at this time right here, it was two doctors. It was two doctors in Rebecca mine, which Isaac had bathed. His Rebecca was his doctor. So these two doctrines that is being conceived right now in Isaac's mind. Watch this. Isaac a bad man now. Watch this. Two doctrines that was in Isaac's mind. Do not think that these are two peoples carnal. That is true. High and red. But the, that ain't what the, how the Most High is saying. The Most High is saying these are two doctrines. Read it again, brother. Man. All right, this is another video <clears throat> we're going to get into. Um, who is Edom? So I pulled up an image of Mount Seir, which is Petra, modern day Jordan today. <clears throat> and you go to a map. So you'll see there's a starch similarity between Mount Seir. Rome, Great Britain, and the White House, or D.C., because the architecture is built after the ancient Edomites, which are Romans. Ecclesiastes 4 and verse 6. There is no end of all the people, even, all, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. <laughs> First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learned from daily, just like this lesson right here, right? Healthy Shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, okay? Hey, this is the brother Gabar Dama coming back at you. And, and, and both of those, both of those brothers, the elder and the big brother, was on point. Challenge accepted. I'll take the challenge also. This one body group has lost their damn mind. Okay? Clear to see somebody has sold all the way the hell out. All right? Now, and this is also, really, it's a land back on a apostle, beloved Apostle Tahar's video that he put out. So now, they're teaching... That uh, Esau Edom is not the so-called white man. So who the hell is it then? You see, you know, it's it's clear to see that somebody has sold out, and you're losing your damn mind. Let's go. Let's go to the basic right quick, and then we'll get a little bit deeper into it. I pulled up an article with some interesting stuff about Esau Edom, which we already knew. All right, some of it's lies and some of it isn't, and so it's our job. To break these things down correctly and tell you what the 100% truth is. This is Genesis 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red all over. He came out rut red. All right. Wasted away is he. Red. The blood shows forth through the skin. So what do they want? They wanted what? Three precepts? We're going to give them more than that. You're going you're gonna to get a belly full of Bible. <laughs> Salakia. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Okay? He was the first, right? He was the first. And after that, his brother came out, and his hunt and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel, right? And Isaac was three score, he was sixty years old, right? When she bare them. Do you see that? Let's keep reading. Verse 27. And the boys grew together, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Just like now, same thing, nothing new under the sun. There's no end of all the people. You, all right, you already know. I'm, I'm just going to say it like that. I wasn't planning on going this route, but I'm going to say it like this. You know, Jake, man, whether it be northern or southern kingdom, we like to chill out. We plain men, you know, we, 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 I'm at the crib. We like to relax. But Esau, what does he do? He goes out hunting and fishing, right? Killing for sport and all that. Matter of fact, here, let's just go ahead. I'll pull this up right here. Let's see, where was I at here? Let's just go ahead and pull this up. Let's, let's just type this in. All right, that's just one precept, right? Let's see, deer. 
Hunter. How many Jakes you think are going to be pulled up in these images right here? Let me see. Deer Hunter. No, that's Fear Hunter. <laughs> Salakia. Deer Hunter. Big old fat fingers. Okay. All right. Deer Hunter. This is not really pulling up what I wanted, but... Um, well, I mean, you know, what do you have here? Uh, you got to eat them, right? The deer hunter. They're they're deer hunters. They're hunters. Let's 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 get this a little bit deeper right here. See, uh, uh, uh hunter. Let's gonna pull up. There we go. See, look right here. What do you have here? Yeah, let's just go through a couple images. All right, he's a man of the field. Look at him eating. Hey, man, they eating deer hearts, and yet, yet to this day. They like their meat raw. There's plenty of videos. There's plenty. You go, if you ever been to a steakhouse or you ever been, you know, to a, a you know, a steakhouse or whatever. These Edomites, man, they'll look at you crazy if you order your steak well done. Now, that's, that's no way to do it. Why? Because they like that red pottage. They like that red meat. For one more, Hebrews 12 and verse 16 is another precept. For one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay. See, just a couple. What do you see here? Edomites. That's what you see. And that's what they, and see that, I mean, they, they got this down to a science. He got a damn bow and arrow. Okay. There's a, a Shedomite, a, a woman Edomite, right? Look, look, what'd you kill all them foxes for, man? Leave them damn animals alone. All right. So let's keep going here. Salakia. There we go. First Maccabees. 1 and verse 7. So Alexander, uh, the Edomite, they call him the Great, right? Uh, Alexander, where, where, where is he ruling at? Was it Rome? Hmm. Uh, who are the Romans? Hmm. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. There's different scriptures to go into this. Who is this explaining? Edomites. They all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied on the earth. Now, what do you have on the earth? Who are, who are the rulers? Let, we're we're going to go to uh, some simple scriptures here. Who rules the earth right now? You can have cognitive dissonance all you want. But everybody should know and understand that the so-called white man rules this earth right now. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. See what the wicked. All right. Let's continue on. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab that scripture. All right. Was that two scriptures? Here's the third one. Here's the third one that you wanted. Job 9 and verse 24. And we can read the account of it in Genesis. Okay. Job 9 and verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And who gave him the dew of heaven and the fatness of earth? If you can receive it, it was Jehovah Shai, it was Isaac. Okay, Genesis 27 verse 26. Let's see if I want to go back just here just a little bit. Um... Yep. Verse 25. And he said, bring it near. Let's, well, I got to go back. You know, verse 24. And he said, art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. Right. That's going into the account where Jacob was supplanted, supplanted Esau by, uh, by the uh, instructions of his mother. OK. Ultimately, it was sanctioned by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for this to happen. It's all his move. We don't forget that. Now, you'll have Christianity tell you that the Edomites are done away with and Jacob tricked Esau. He, 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 Jacob, uh, uh, stole, no, stole, there, there's that word, stole, no, 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 Esau sold it. And I'm going to show you this little article that I pulled up and about how really full of shit Christianity is. All right, let's keep going. Basically, that's what one body, you know, IUIC and some of these other camps, man, they have, uh, reverted back to Christianity. It's, it's, it, there's no difference. Verse 25. And he said, bring it near to me. Whoa, whoa. Uh, yep. And he said, bring it near to me. Some of that venison. It was venison or uh, 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 it, was one of the, it was goat. One of the kids, right? One of the kids of the field, right? 
Okay. And I will eat my son's venison that my soul may be blessed, may bless thee, Salachia. And he brought it near to him and he did eat and he brought him wine and drink. And he drank, right? Verse 26. Let's read this. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near, near, it's like it, near now, and kiss me, my son. Verse 27. And he came near, and he kissed him, and he smelled like of, it smelled of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is the smell of the field. Did you hear that? The smell of my son is the smell of of the field which the Lord Yahweh have blessed. Now hold on now. Wait a second. Did we just read that Esau what was a man of the field? See? He what he's a man of the field, right? Let's go here. Genesis 25 verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they called his name Esau. I read that, all right? So he was what? He's a man of the field. Now I got I got a couple things pulled up here and we're going to go here first. I'm sort of jumping around, jump around, right? <laughs> like the house of pain, baby, which is going to be inflicted on Esau, Edom soon come and the rest of these nations, man. All right. So I typed this in. Uh, it was something about Esau and this popped up. So I said, oh, well, I say I'll, I'll fancy that for a moment. Let's click on it. 14 facts about Esau. Everyone should know. One, you see, he was the son of Isaac. We know that. He had three names, Esau, Edom, uh, where Amalek, see, let me, let's read this. When Esau was born, he was fully formed and his hair, uh, hair across his body. No, that, that, that's all wrong. You see, Esau was given a second name, right? Edom, right? Hebrew for what? For red. For red. These people are not white. They put that on themselves and they put black on you. You understand? On oh, you uh, Hebrew Israelites, man, which which in fact we're gonna come looking like a speckled bird anyway. A whole nother, whole nother lesson. Let's keep, let's keep going. Esau's below his name. Okay, it's, it, yeah, it was changed to Esau is Edom, right? You see, three. He was the eldest, right? First came out red. The first came out red, right? He was a hunter. We just went into that, right? While Jacob was an uh, ardent, ardent student. Esau was more inclined to spend his days in the fields. Correct. All right. Whoa, whoa. Hunting animals and birds. It is told that Nimrod, a master hunter himself, well, was, in, was Nimrod, what, wasn't that an Edomite? Hmm? Was in possession of the cloak that had been passed down from Adam, which, attract, which attracted wildlife. Uh, that's just strange. All right. You see, his father loved him. That's correct. All right. He sold his birthright. Now, hold on now. Hold on now. He sold his birthright. You're going to see down here. And we're going to get more scriptures on who Esau Edom is. He's he's the end of the world. I mean, it's, it's easy to see it. He's the, the scriptures prophesy Esau Edom to be in rulership at the end. We we right here. Yeah. How about Shimei Shai is knocking at the door. If, if, you, if you can't see it, you can't see it. All right. Let's see. Six. He sold. His birthright. He what? He sold it. As a matter of fact, in the scriptures, he said, well, what's my birthright going to do for me anyway? I'm getting ready to die. I'm faint. Sell me this day your birthright then. All right. Sub subtility. The brother, I was listening to Brother Amawana Ba right now in his lesson. Subtility. All right. All right. One day, 15, 15 year old, we don't know how old he was. All right. After a long day of, uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. We know that. Just. Jacob was planning to give uh, the dish to his father, who was uh, mourning his father Abraham, right? Who had passed away that very day. Let's see if I need to get to the meat of this so I can get back into the scriptures. When Esau and Jacob, a portion of stew, Jacob supplanted, there it is, all right, that he would only share it with him if Esau would sell him his birthright, all right? Uh, you see, he was married at 40. There it is right there. See, you see how <laughs> it said it said that Jacob, I mean, Salakia, that Esau sold his birthright. But then it says right here that Jacob stole it. He didn't steal anything. All right. See, you know, that's why I'm going to see his letter made. He made peace with Jacob. Um, yeah, he did kiss him. But hey, man, his, his anger did tear perpetually. as the scripture said. That's another that's another cut. 
to a, a one body. Oh, Shh. Nuts, man. All right, he lived in Mount Seir. Ooh. Ooh, let's go here. He what? He lived in Mount Seir. Now, you saw that? Those couple photos at the beginning that the, uh, the big brother Alma Wanna Body pulled up. What does this look like? Look at that architecture. All right? Let's keep going. Come on, give me some more architecture. Well, you saw it already. All right, here's a map. All right. Southern of what? Of Israel. That's where Edo, Esau Edom dwell. Mount Seir, Mount Petra. All right. See any similarities here? Rome 2.0, all those things. Let's go back. Because there was something else I wanted to get out of this. Let's see. He lived in Mount Seir. Uh, let's see. He is considered the progenitor of Rome. Boom. There it is right there. Who them Romans? Who did, who, were, who were the Grecians that the Atari and Zidon sold to? Who, 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 who? Esau, Edom. Same people. Obadiah. You see, Obadiah compared him and his brother to straw and fire. Mm, okay. Stubble. That's what that goes into. Ashes. These same people. These are the Edomites, man. All right? It's all in the scriptures. You just got to know where to read it. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's see. Let's move on down. Let's move down here. Let's let's go here. Isaiah 41 and 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Oh, what? Virgin daughter of Babylon. Not Iraq. Not the original Babylon. All right. And in, in the scriptures, it said that Babylon is going to be completely and utterly destroyed. Iraq hasn't been completely and, and utterly destroyed. There's a new place. There's a new Babylon where the northern and southern kingdom will be will be oppressed together in the land of the north. Do you understand? Do you see this? Let's read it again. Come down and sit in the dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, the Edomites. See that? For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Why are they called tender and delicate? Because they are the mother of all harlots. They have laid down with all these nations. And the nations are, are getting pissed off. The least of the flock is drawing them out, which in fact is Amalek. You know, those 1948ers over there. They're coming down low. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Psalms 137. It's talking about these Edomites, man. And their ways and the things that they have done. These, these are simple scriptures. Verse 2. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncovered eye locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. He said he's going to spread his wings over Israel, which are the so-called black Latinos, Native Americans and speckled bird. All right. And see, let's read it. Verse four. As for our Redeemer, the Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name and the Holy One of Israel. So when it says thy nakedness shall be uncovered, the son of perdition has, has, been, has been revealed by the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh mouth, the prophets. But here you is, uh, here you is, damn. <laughs> Woo, now that's real country right there. There, there, there they are. Shall, uh, there is one, there one body is going into it talking about, show me three scriptures that say Esau, Edom is the white man. Well, all of these go into it. You got to dig a little bit deeper. You ain't going to find uh, the white man nowhere. You're going to find Esau, Edom. You're going to find red, wasted away. Huh? You're going to find the uh, uh, the earth, the wicked. That's what you're going to find. You're going to see scriptures like that. You're going to see scriptures like uh, uh, um, uh, the son of perdition and all that. Okay. Let's continue on. We read that. Job 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he now? Here, here's, here's more cuts for you. Cesare Borgia, right? That Jesus, that sweet Jesus that everybody looks to and says, well, I, I don't care. It don't matter. It don't, don't matter what he looks like, but that's my Jesus. Said that in that, what's that show? Good times? You know, when Florida Evans, damn, damn, damn. All right. When Florida Evans, uh, uh, you know, when, when uh, was, uh, was it Michael had painted. Yeah, I think it was Michael had painted the image of Yahawashai. And he said, well, he, he looked like uh, 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 Ed, Ed the Wino. And they called Yahweh Shai a wine bibber. Anyway, that was another one. 
Uh, he, he when he uh, what did she say? Florida Evans. I forget what what the hell her name was in that show. She said she said the same thing. These Christians. This is the only Jesus I've ever known, and he's gonna stay. He's gonna stay. All right. And that's what Christianity has just bugged you people out. But then you got one body. It's, 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 it's basically the same thing. It's just Christianity. It's just crazy, man. Let's go here. Genesis 36, verse 8 in Salaki. I know I'm sort of all over the place. I mean, my mind drifts from time to time. But, hey, man, this is the truth. And the truth is Esau Edom is the so-called white man. And he's in power right now. And the scriptures prophesied this to happen. And that's that. Thus dwelleth Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Do you see that? Esau is Edom. He's, he's rich. They have more than heart could wish. This is talking about these Edomites, man. They're not in trouble as other men. That's, that's also in Psalms. Verse 9, and these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. I mean, it just, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. The dukes. See? All those dukes, all these people that are in rulership, uh, e e each and every one of them, these people that in rule, that sit, the great horde that sit upon many waters, great military, the dew of heaven, uh, the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth. Did I read that? I don't think I read that. Salakia, <laughs> give me one moment. I know I had that pulled up. The dew of heaven, this is uh, Genesis 27. Anyway, no, I, let's, let's pull that up. I mentioned it. Let's pull it up. All right, Genesis 27. Let's go here. The dew of heaven and the fatness of earth. This is Genesis 27. Genesis 27 chapter. To lock you. Let's get it in a K, J to the V, baby. KJV, Genesis 27. All right. I like to go here. Um, you have one baby. Damn big ass crybaby is what he is. Let's see. Do you have one blessing for me? Jacob is father. I am Esau's firstborn. I've done according to thou. Uh, thou madest me arise and pray. Let's see. I think it's 20. There we go. Verse 26. Yeah, I already read that. I did read that. Let's read it again, though. Is there, yeah, verse 28. Let's read verse 28. Therefore, the most high power, give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of earth and plenty of corn and wine. There it is right there. I didn't read it. All right. Call Halal Yahweh by Shimmy I was shy. That's what that's what he got. The dew of heaven and the fatness of earth, man. They have more than heart could wish, all that. But see, they're not satisfied. He's not satisfied with his blessing. He got a blessing, but look at what he did with it. Destroyed every damn thing. It's all screwed up. Everything's messed up. All right? Another cut. Second Ezra 6 and verse 8. Let's go there. Because we can jump back into Genesis. Even with that, when the hand betwixt the heel. Okay? You know, hey, when he when that little brown hand came up and, and grabbed that red foot and said, where you going, boy? Right? Second Ezra 6 and verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand held first the heel of Esau. That was what? It was that was uh symbolic, man. It was symbolic. That's why they were struggling together in the womb. And you got a you got some Israelites out there that have just this weird ass doctrine. It, it, and the shit makes no sense, man. Honestly, it makes absolute zero sense that Esau Edom is. Look, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. All right, let's let's keep reading. The, the Esau Edom is uh, uh uh Arabic or whatever, man. I don't, it, it makes no sense. All right, my goodness. Verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And that it that followeth is the kingdom. That's the kingdom. The end of an age. The end of their rulership. You see? That's why they called it the Dark Ages. Because Jake was in rulership. All right? The Renaissance. It means rebirth. Look up words. It, Renaissance means rebirth. And that's when iconoclasm... And they and they did what? They sought to paint the likeness of their images. We just read you in First Maccabees. 
how evils will increase when they uh, got uh, got back into power. It's simple and plain. The hand of man betwixt the hill and the hand of other questions, extras ask not. Simple and plain. It's clear to see Esau, Edom is the so-called white man, man. Revelation 11 and verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. What does that mean? Rejoice over them. Rejoice who over the Israelites and make merry and send gifts one to another. Us. It's in the history. Just look it up. Because these two prophets, northern and southern kingdom, tormented them that dwell on the earth. And that's what's happening right now. That's why they, that's why who? Esau Edom, the so-called white man is trying to bring in all these bills and all that and get rid of the Bible. Because these two prophets are tormenting them with these scriptures. Don't, don't never forget Hebrews 4 verse 12 said these, they cut like a two-edged sword. And it's killing them. They can no longer control the narrative. They're, they can't stand with their enchantments. It's not working. It's all in the scriptures, man. All this is proven who Esau Edom is. It's simple and plain. Let's go to Joel. Three and verse one. Three and verse two. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of decision. Yahweh Shapar, right? And will plead with them there for my people, for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. Who is over there and who has parted the land with all the joy of their hearts? Amalek, the head tribe of the Edomites, which in fact are so-called white people. Hello, verse three, and they have cast lots for my people. What does cast lot mean? Let, 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 I pulled up an image. Auction blocks, man. Who, who are these people? Do you see who these people are? Do you see that? Who, who the hell is that? Who are these people? Who are the ones on the casting lots and who are the ones on the auction blocks? It's simple and plain to see it. They sold them to the Grecians. Let's go back. Tyre and Zidon, damn Hamites. And who? Ishmaelites, the Arabs. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. It's right here in the scriptures. Yea, have, what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, Hamites? In all the coast of Palestine, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I turn return your recompense upon your own head, man? Okay. Verse five, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and I've carried them into your temples, carried into your temples, my goodly and pleasant things. All right. Verse six, the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, northern and southern kingdom, have ye sold unto the Grecians. Uh-oh. Have ye sold unto the Grecians. What is that telling you? That ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place. Whether ye have sold them, what, to the Greek, to the Edomites. And will return your recompense upon your own head. You see that? And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people afar off. For the Lord, how I have spoken it, man. It's simple and plain. I don't What is that? Five or six precepts? Man, you, you, you can go. You go try to sell that bullshit to somebody else. One body. Jeremiah 50 verse 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. See that? All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none therefore escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done unto un, do unto her. Well, who's that? The daughter of Babylon. See, to these Chaldeans, to uh, to Basra, to the Edomites, for she have been proud against the against the Lord Salakia. Against the Holy One of Israel. What do they say? I'm proud to be an American. You go, Obadiah said, um, uh, most proud. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, though that dwellest in the clefts, though that dwell in the clefts of the rock. Do you see this? It's simple. Though that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. If I can get back to it. You know, there it is right there. Look, you see it? The Edomites. Oh, boy. We'll grab this one.
This is crazy, man. If you can't see, I don't. If you can't see it, at some point in time they was teaching that. The scripture said, "Meddle not with them that are given uh, by way of change, man." All right. Psalms one thirty seven verse eight. Oh, daughter, is that daughter again of Babylon who art to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. And how do they serve us? We just saw they cast lots. Huh? They uh, they did us show them no mercy. They have said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. They refuse to let us go. We are yet this day in our captivity. See that? Verse 9, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. You know, and that's a twofold scripture right there. So, you know, hey, hopefully this was edifying. And, you know, just a couple of scriptures just laying back and off of uh, you know, those uh, those three videos that I mentioned. And the two that I, uh, you know, featured, if you will. One body, you full of shit, man. And it's clear to see that you sold out. Esau Edom is the so-called white man. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom! Shalom.